Hey guys, you're watching one and only. My name is AJ. Welcome back to another episode of Let's Build an Adventure Map. Today, I want to start on the first boss battle of the Adventure Map. As you guys know, we sort of reined in our ideas a little bit. At the beginning of the series, we had like a billion ideas that we wanted to do. We've reined it and we've selected our favourite sort of parts. And we're going to sort of go through those. Now, we're going to have three sort of boss battles in the, uh, in the map. The first one is going to be a giant goblin battle goblin troll something like that now I don't like to have to walk too far between doing things because walking is quite boring we can have little side missions along the way but I don't want to travel like a thousand blocks in order to get somewhere however I also don't want things to be so close together that you can see them when you're at another part of the map. So for example, when we're at the castle, we don't really want to be able to see the floating island. You want to just travel a little bit and then see it. And same as it with this, we want to be able to travel a little bit and then start to see this goblin slash troll ba boss battle that we're going to work on today. I think the way that I want to do this is I want to have this goblin slash troll inside of a grassy mound, inside like a, a mountain or a hill or something like that. But in order for you guys and for me to see it and build it easily, I think what we're going to do is actually build it on the outside and then build the grass mound around the goblin. I think that might be a better way to do it. Not only uh, easier to record it, but it also makes it more interesting to look at once it's all built. So let's go uh, this way a little bit from the island. The castle's to like the right of it. Uh, and then you'll have to walk this way to uh, get somewhere over here. Now, I haven't really explored this way at all. Looks like we go to a bit of a mountain biome. I don't really want to do that. I don't think I really want to build along that. This is an ocean here. I don't really want to cross that. So I think our only option is to come around this way over to here. There's some pumpkins there. Maybe somewhere around here. This is far enough away. Yeah, no, I think this will work. I think if we do it, like, right in the middle here, we can even connect these mounds together to make a bigger sort of mountain around it. That sounds that, that sounds like a pretty good idea. I can clean up the area myself and take the trees out and, and all that kind of stuff. Now, I've never built... I don't really... I don't think I've really ever built, like, a giant 3D... Oh, got an itchy eye. A giant 3D model of, of anything in Minecraft, especially not a humanoid shape like a... Uh, like a goblin or a tron. And we could do it in sort of a Minecrafty way with, you know, um, square, you know, using like a, a square head and a square body and build what's basically a giant zombie. But I don't want to do that. I want to have a more natural, organic looking shape. And that's going to require a little bit of thinking, a little bit of preparation. But I think we can do it. What I like, what I'm going to do with this is I'm going to build step one. A stick man version. A stick man version of our goblin. Once we've got that and we're happy with the proportions, like the length of the arms and the size of the torso and stuff like that, we can then make what I'm going to call like a 2D version, uh, which is like a skeleton of the goblin. And then stage three will then be filling it out and making it uh, a fleshy uh, build. Step four will then be adding... I don't know, some rags or some clothes or some leather armor on him uh, and stuff like that. Stage 5 and onwards is all about the, the redstone and about getting it to actually work. So, let's have a crack at this. Now, I'm not bothered about the green of this being sort of similar to the green of the grass. Because once it's inside a mountain, all of this grass will be removed to stone and it'll look like an inside of a cave. Now... There's some things that we can sort of take from our own body when building this. From your neck to your waist, which is your torso length, is roughly the same length as your shoulder to your wrist. If you put, if you stand up and you put your arms down to your side, you'll probably find approximately that the, your wrist here will end up being at your waist height. Also, from your neck to your waist is about the same distance as your waist to your feet. So, if we roughly use that, we can get a goblin that looks somewhat in proportion, at least I hope. I don't exactly know how big I want this to be either. I think something like that for the foot size. And then what we want to do is we want to have his ankle coming up this way. Now we'll flesh this out more, uh, but we just want to sort of get an idea in. 
Uh, your foot, I'm going to, well, I'm going to, your foot isn't anywhere near as long as your leg up to your knee. Uh, but I want to do it a little bit shorter on this goblin because they're a little bit more stacked stacked you know a little bit shorter than a, a normal sort of human height and then what I want to do is I want him to sort of be crunched down a little bit a little bit hunched over so what we're gonna do is I think I want to do something like this now is that so yeah that's sort of right that looks like a sort of hunched look I want to come up a little bit further though so something like that oops Something like that. How are we looking for that as a height? That's pretty good. I, I like that. And what we want to do is we want to do another one around here somewhere. Joining up to roughly, I don't know, like a, a, a pelvis area. Maybe a little bit bigger because once we sort of thicken it up a little bit. Like let's say his legs are about that thick. Yeah, that should work. Something like something like that. Uh, now, we don't want the legs being symmetrical, obviously, because that's going to make him look like he's sort of leaning back a little bit. What we want to do here is to have this foot a little bit behind. Now, I don't know how this is going to turn out. This is sort of completely new to me, uh, but I'm using sort of my old artistic skills. <laughs> Very little that I had at the time at school. Uh, in order to do this. So this one we want the leg to be a little bit straighter. So, perfect. Look at that. So we sort of got one leg forward, one leg behind. This looks a little bit elongated at the moment. But that should fix itself once we start doing uh, the, the fleshy part or the 2D part. Which is the next stage. For the torso we're just going to do like a part in the middle here. That goes up. Ugh. Come up. Up, 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 up. Now we want this to be roughly the same length as from his ankle to his pelvis. At the moment, it's about that height, so we want to do another one of those on top. He's going to be pretty big, but it's approximately how big I was sort of thinking in my head. Uh, a little bit taller. Something like that. I need to drink my. I haven't been up long. And I'm in my coat. That was too big of a mouthful. I'm in my coat because it's like this super rainy, super windy day. And I'm actually a little concerned that I'm going to lose electric any moment. Uh, it's like one of those really windy ones that blow the, uh, the telegraph poles and stuff. Okay, there we go. Now we want to work out a torso width. How wide we want the torso to be. Uh, I still think this is going to be part of stage one. We want him to have a little bit of a belly. So I'm sort of going to extend out his his side here. And then sort of bring it in a little bit up to where his uh, rib cage would be. Rib cage would be up here. And then it would get a little bit larger somewhere here where his shoulders start to begin. Oops. Ooh, place it there. Yeah, something like that. Something like that sounds pretty good to me. So we'll have it something like this. Uh, uh, oops, a little bit too high. Doesn't matter if it's not exactly even. Uh, I don't think it's really going to make that much difference at this stage. Uh, uh, uh. I'm going to drop this down by one, have this shoulder bit a little bit larger. Something like that. Okay, that's looking pretty good. Now we want arm lengths. Now I think I want one arm... I want one arm a little bit forward. You can't really see what I'm doing. I want one arm maybe something like... I can't, can't really see. How do I want... How do I want these abs? One arm's going to be holding a giant bone, which would be his weapon. Let's do that one first. Uh, I want the arm to come off here somewhere. This is the middle of the sort of shoulder bone. And uh, we want this to sort of come directly down and back something like this directly down and back to his elbow that looks about the right height I think if, if you put your arm straight down next to your elbow is about where your ribs are so that would be about about right and then we want this arm coming out uh, or we want the arm now coming out this way A uh, little bit more. A little bit more. Something 
Perfect. That looks pretty good. At the moment, it looks like it's sort of a dead frog that's been run over. <laughs> we'll get past that. I want this um, to be somewhat similar. Uh, a similar sort of um, angle and shape. Um, I don't know. Something. Let's come down this way a little bit. We don't want it to be quite as... I don't like that. Quite as directly back though is the other one okay something like that and then i think i want this one to come pretty much straight forward again so so a little bit more like this instead of going out at an angle i want it a little bit more forward and maybe another look one like that that's looking that's looking like a pretty good stance this leg is definitely a little bit too far out i think but i like the torso and then the head's going to be on here now i really don't know what i'm going to do with the head yet maybe that's the, probably the first thing that we should work on get the head done and then flesh it out on the way down let's sort this leg out first though i think i just want the leg to sort of come down here instead i think that would sort of help our problem out a little bit Maybe we can even make the um, ankle, the ankle here come out uh, a little bit more. Ugh. Now let's just take this away and have a look, standing back at a distance a little bit. Looks pretty good, but definitely, definitely still needs some touching up. Uh, something like... Something like that, so there's a little bit of a kneecap there as well. Okay, we're improving it. We're improving it as we go now. So, uh, I think we want to start with the head. If we can get the head done this episode, maybe, uh, I'll be very, very chuffed. I don't want really much of a neck. I don't think a goblin or troll really has a neck. I think it's a little bit more hunched and evil. So, we're going to keep the neck as small as possible. Uh, but let's try and do something. What if we done like a 2D face and then made it 3D? That might be a better way to do it. Let's, uh, have the width of the head. We want the width of the head to be maybe a little bit smaller than his shoulder. Which would be about, uh, that uh, looks about right. Maybe a little bit smaller for this bit and it can get wider as it goes up. Uh, let's bring it out a couple of blocks. Something like this. Now, we want the bottom jaw to be something like this. Oops. There's the bottom jaw. And then that his mouth is going to be open. Maybe we have to shoot into his mouth or shoot parts in his body. Something like that. Your sort of normal uh, boss fight. We want to come up here and up here. And his head's going to get a little bit wider as it gets to, to the top. A little bit of a, a, a stranger looking, evil looking head hopefully. Again, this is sort of a 2D version of it at the moment. And then we want it to sort of come around like this. Now, is that a good height for a head? Is it too small? Is it too... Oops. No, you know what? That actually looks about right. That looks about right. Obviously, his nose is going to be a long, pointy, witchy-style nose. He's going to have little horns. He's going to have some say, Yoda ears, almost, something along those um, lines. I think that's pretty good. I think we should really make a start here now with some uh, some teeth. Uh, wool isn't really white enough. What have we got? Snow? That's white. It's a nice white teeth looking block. And uh, we want to have something like... Hmm, troll slash goblin slash ogre maybe. Something like that. So there's his bottom teeth sort of uh, sticking like he's got a little bit of uh, an underbite. And then we want his top teeth something like that. Something like, I'm trying to sort of do it, do the shape that I want. Something like that. At the moment it looks a little bit weird, but everything always looks weird when you first start off. It'll get better as you go. You need to, you need to have that starting position, that starting point. Um, otherwise, you, you, <laughs> you never start, basically. We'll have that one. We'll have that one. Ooh, I fell. Help me. I'm not a huge fan of this this top teeth that I got sneeze coming. Hold on, hold on. Oh, 
Okay, I'm better. I'm better. I'm better. I'm better. I'm better. Maybe it'll help if we put a little bit more of sort of a bottom jaw on here. So we'll, we'll bring this around. Have something more like this. And then... Start really thick. This is this is where it gets a little bit harder because if you get this wrong, it's, it's quite hard to sort of get it back to what you wanted it to look like. So we sort of have to take it a little bit careful here. Okay, that's looking like a better bottom jaw though. Uh, we want this top jaw to be further back. We want the bottom to, jaw to be in front of the top jaw. So... Uh, I'm going to replace those with the white. Something like that. Then have that further back. Okay, now we're getting somewhere. Now we're getting somewhere. We don't want the teeth to be too far on the side, though. We want to have a little bit sort of next to him like this. And there. Then we want the top, his, his, his top lip to go across the top here. Maybe a little bit in front. Maybe there and there as well. Okay, now we're looking good. Now we're looking a little bit more 3D. We want his nose. Let's do his nose next. Uh, we want his nose to be so a big, big nose on the front here. Uh, like this, maybe. Something like that. Nearly, nearly. I sort of like the one sticking out like a like a wall. What if we done it like a sponge? I was thinking like a, a yellow spot, pussy sort of look. Yeah, okay, that actually works. That works. So there's his nose. I think that's a pretty good length. The head will go back a lot further. At the moment, it looks a little bit flat. Um, I think what we want to do is bring this part, his forehead now, uh, in a little bit. So we'll take these four blocks. And take those four blocks away. So we're sort of bringing him back a little bit, leaning leaning his uh, his head back slightly. Ooh. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Uh, no, I don't like that. I want to have that one there, and possibly there. Okay, yes, I like it. I like it. We want, um, I don't know, red eyes? What color eyes? Red eyes? Yellow eyes? Red and black eyes? Red and black eyes. Red and black eyes sound good. Maybe even just two red blocks like that. Uh, there. And there. Oops. And there. Um, where they're clear. Uh, maybe some black... Maybe maybe white instead of the black. Maybe just black and white and, and not have any red at all. I don't know. I want the red. No, that looks good. The red and white, I think, is good. Um, your eyes are sort of more in line with the bridge of your nose, though. So maybe we should bring these down by one. Or, or have them two by two. Yeah, that looks good. But now we'll bring them out one. I want them sort of to look maybe a little bit bulgy. A little bit disgusting. Okay, beautiful. Let's put a line underneath here. I saw you place wrong. Build the back of his nose up now. Okay, that's looking pretty good. I, I, would it be better to have them like this? Or does, does it look too cute with the eyes like that? No, no, I like that. Okay, beautiful. Now, I want his uh, his eyebrows to be sort of one, like a monobrow that leans over the front of his eyes. So, the monobrow is sort of going to be on this block. In fact, if we do that, that might, that might work. And then maybe bring the nose in a little bit. That's a better looking nose, actually. I like that. Yeah, there's his monobrow that we wanted. Or that I wanted, that I mentioned, to have on top. And then this should pretty much join up to where we wanted it to go. Yeah, something something like, something approximately like that. I think we need to do a little bit more uh, teasing work here. But that's definitely a really good face. I'm liking the face. Oh, itchy ear. Okay, 
Uh, what's this? Oh, it's snow. Okay, we're getting snow on him because he's so tall. Once he's in a cave, that shouldn't happen, I don't think. If it does, we can always light it up. It doesn't, not, not going to affect me at all at the minute. Okay, now we want to do, uh, maybe his ears next would be a good spot to start. Or maybe the side of his head. No, the side of his head. Yeah, I like how he's sort of hunched into his torso a bit here. I think we want to have something like this. This. Uh, that one. Sort of slowly bring it out a little bit. Uh -huh. I'm trying to do very small changes and then mirroring them on either side. That way we don't sort of make a silly mistake and, and, and make it <laughs> really unsymmetrical. That one. That one. That one. That one. Okay, it's starting to get some shape now at the side of his head. I think we can start on the ears. The ears are going to be maybe somewhere in line. Your ears, human ears are in line. The tops are in line with your eyes. And I think trolls would be about the same, but they're going to be longer ears. We want to have something like... Um, something like this. Maybe a little bit longer. And then... Let's just do them flat green for the moment. Yeah, see, there's some, something like that. Maybe spike the end up a little bit as well. Maybe not that that much of an urgent spike. Maybe more like that. I think that's a little bit too big, but we're definitely getting there. Uh, 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 uh. Oops. So close. So very, very close. You know, you know the shape is nearly what you want. I like that. That's going to be our ear shape. Uh, we want to give a little bit more sh uh, sort of shape to it, though. So what we're going to do is put these two on top. Something something like that, maybe on that one as well. Yeah, that looks good. And maybe one here, like a little bit of your, your ear lobe. I like that. I don't think we want... Do we want to have any uh, a change of colour there at all? Or maybe do we want to have something like... Ugh. Something like that. To give a little bit of shape. I like that. I think that's pretty good for an ear. Okay, let's do this on the other side then. Uh, that was on this level here. And we came out... I've just got to figure out what I haven't done. <laughs> Part, parts of the ear that aren't quite what they should be. Okay, no, it's back one. I'm looking at the shapes. We've got that one. Got that one. Okay, beautiful. One, two, three, four blocks. One, two, three, four. One, two. Do the same on the back. This is why you always do little bits as you go. Aha. Uh -huh. And then we have the inside of his ear. And then it pretty much wraps around, doesn't it now? Uh, 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 uh. Okay, I think that's it. I think that's I think that's both ears symmetrical, right? Yeah, it looks good. Okay, we're st it's starting to look, you guys got to me. I don't know if you had faith in me at the beginning, but I think we're starting to get there. We want some little horns on the top. These horns really don't have to be big at all. We're sort of just going to do them out the side here, I think. Maybe that's a little bit too big. Maybe that's even a little bit too big. Yeah, no, I just like that. Just a little, that little touch. A little bit more in front of the ears. You know, uh, more towards the front. Okay, now we're looking. We're looking. If I saw that, I'd say, yeah, he's building a he's building a goblin. So uh, that's definitely the right direction that you want to go. Now we want to sort of bring around the back of the head shape. This is getting a little bit into stage two. What we'd be doing with the body with stage two now, uh, which is sort of getting getting the shape that you want. Uh, I want that like that. That like that, and then that like that. I know it's off center. It doesn't matter though, because it's a 
even uh, even head. There's no middle point, so we just match this up here and match this up here. Okay, beautiful. Now it's just a matter of joining up these corner parts. There's nothing really more in a goblin's head. We don't really have to worry about hair on a goblin. At least not on this one. This one's going to be a, a hairless goblin. So I don't need to really worry about that. But I just want to get a sort of decent decent shape in for this goblin here. I think something like that is uh, is a good, a good width for the head, a good distance. One, two, three. One, two, three. Where is that? That is still part of the head, yeah. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two. Yeah, something like this. That one. That one. That one. That one. Slowly bringing it round now. Slowly, slowly getting what I want. Here and here. That one should have been there a long time ago. Nope, I want that one here, here, there, no, that one, that one. I'm, li I'm liking it, I'm liking it already, but uh, there's just those little, we always have these little tweaky parts that we need to figure out. And I don't want to do it off camera, because I don't think you guys would, uh, would appreciate me cutting away after doing all this together, because I know you guys like to... To build along with me. Okay. Like that. Like that. Okay. Now we've got it. Easy as that. Got the, the, the back of the shape. You, you want to sort of keep with these circles if possible. Uh, and, and sort of build the circles out from that. And that one. Mirror on the other side. All I'm doing now is doing very small changes. Uh, making sure that I'm, I'm getting them the same on either side and uh, we should be done pretty much any moment Those two and Those two Those two those two oops Around the top here really isn't gonna be hard now Once you once you get it started it comes together very oops very very quickly. Oh, that is right. Okay, and we're done. That's it. That one, that one, and that one. There's his head. A little bit thin, a little bit square here, but this is the sort of thing that this is the sort of thing that will uh, will get better as we do more of the skeleton. It's actually not that bad. It's actually a pretty good um, width, you know, from the from the nose to the back of the head. I'm actually really happy with that. I don't think that really needs to be changed at all. But unfortunately, we are out of time this episode. It's been a longer episode, but it does figure... The head is definitely the hardest part. The body and stuff, the arms aren't going to really be too much of a problem. They're just going to be sort of... Uh, sausages almost and then you sort of shape the sausages a little bit more to, to represent muscle so next episode I'm hoping that we're gonna get him totally done if you guys enjoyed it hit that like button if you haven't already then feel free to subscribe we shall see you in the next episode